I know this is going to sound quite weird or maybe even crazy for many of you, but uh, my last proper battle in a Tiger 1 dates back to almost 9 years. 8.5 to 9 years, somewhere between that. Yeah, I just had to make that confession. I have not played with one of the most iconic, with one of the most popular ranks in this game for that freaking long. Although, there was actually one occasion where you guys requested an episode to make me suffer, to play with a completely stock, 100% stock Tiger 1, and with 75% crew as well. So, if we take that also into account, then it dates back to 4 to 5 years, somewhere around that, if I remember correctly. But uh, yeah, with the proper, fully upgraded Tiger 1, I haven't touched this beast of a dank for close to nine years it's it's mind-blowing and you know what uh, by the way this kb1 is quite a nice uh, proctologist behind me you know checking if everything is all right in the rear and uh, i thank you for that kb1 uh, by the way i'm wiggling over here i guess this is what uh, uh, this is what pissed off the kb1 behind me but you still you know th there is still no excuse uh, to do that uh, but uh, i'm wiggling over here of course uh, to make it harder for the enemy uh, kb1s and kb1 uh, to hit me uh, and kb3 as well because wiggling is the easiest tactic uh, just um to move around your weak spots and just make it harder uh, them uh, to hit you, right? But you know, uh, whatever. Anyway, moving on. Now the reason why I jumped back into Tiger 1 in the first place was because there is one beautiful guy called Lugia, or Lugia, our moderator on the stream, who has been requesting uh, uh, me to play with Tiger 1 for a very long time and wanted to see me free mark this vehicle. And you know what? Because Lugia, you are such an awesome uh, community member over here, let's, let's do that, right? I said, okay, let's do that. And I was actually able to finish the mark in one sitting. Uh, I had... Uh, I think I had two battles worth of Mark of Excellence on this already because all my previous battles, you know, were played before the Mark of Excellence was even introduced into the game, so all the other battles did not count. And uh, when I was jumping into uh, Tiger 1, uh, before we started playing any battles, I checked out the stats and oh boy, what a beautiful, actually, beautiful trip it was down the memory line. Because um, I had 129 battles recorded on Tiger 1 and uh, you know, uh, 100, I guess 25 uh, around that amount of battles were played to upgrade this vehicle because I started playing it as a, a stock tank because it was one of my first uh, tech 3 lines which I grinded in the first place. So basically one of the first lines where I learned how to play this game and uh, how to play with a heavy tank and so on. And uh, looking at the stats, uh, um, as I said, it honestly brought a smile to my face, because um, if you think about, uh, at least this goes about me, maybe not about you, but uh, if uh, you are discovering a new game, you are, you are starting a new game, everything feels exciting for you, right? Uh, and in this case, uh, to deal a couple shots of damage, to get a couple kills, it's, it's all exciting. And uh, looking, at, uh, looking at the stats, uh, out of 129 battles which I had on Tiger 1, my maximum damage was 2189 out of 129 battles. Damage record which was beaten in this battle in roughly two and a half minutes actually. <laughs> How crazy is that, right? And also didn't even have Top Gun. My maximum destroyed uh, vehicles in the battle was 5. And the overall average damage was 1133. So quite nutty if you think about that. But as I said, it was a beautiful trip down the memory line because it reminded me the times when I started playing this game at first. And I don't know if this goes about you, but it goes definitely about me. Like when I'm discovering a new game, like it doesn't have to be World of Tanks, but in this case it is World of Tanks, but for me it is about every game. When you start something new, everything feels exciting, right? To get a couple shots in, uh, to get a uh, couple, couple kills, a uh, couple uh, destroyed tanks. It feels exciting and it feels like you did something in the battle. Even though maybe you didn't, but you know, it feels like I'm happy. And I remember I was happy during those battles as well. 
uh, not uh, not like trying to be uh, as efficient as possible or not even knowing to be as efficient as possible in every single battle because you know a new player learning things every single battle just keeping it going but yeah it it surprised me a bit like the maximum damage was a bit too low but the times were so different as well because um, I believe when I started playing with Tiger 1, uh, we were able to see tier 10s. I'm pretty sure we were able to see tier 10s uh, in uh, this tank as well. And sometimes there was uh, matchmaking like uh, where you are one of the two tier 7 tanks. Uh, uh, like you veterans remember this time as well, like when uh, you were one of the uh, two uh, tier 7 tanks in the game. And uh, then there were like uh, five tier 10s and then five tier 9s and a couple tier 8s as well. So yeah, the matchmaking was kind of... Uh, messed up back in the days but it didn't matter i was still happy to get the new engine i was still happy to get my my turret upgrade finally or to get upgraded gun to go from uh, the uh, smallest gun into the next gun and into the top gun you know the, the grinding was uh, exciting for me at least when you first uh, start out of course the grind can get so boring and then the mind numbing when you have already like 15 tier 10s and you have done that like hundreds of times of course Course, it gets uh, mind numbing and uh, not as exciting anymore uh, then but you know still it brought back all those memories and uh, how are you about that like uh, do you remember your starting days in world of tanks um, was different uh, did you enjoy it more like uh, what's what's your uh, starting experience um, i'm also interested about hearing that from you as well and uh, now, you know, I'm still, like, I'm still getting excited by World of Tanks, but the goals are, of course, um, the goal post uh, has shifted a lot. The goals are uh, different, like, you know, trying to get Mark of Excellence or trying to get new damage record, uh, trying to get a couple kills and so on. But uh, still, the excitement is there. Now, just to get as excited, you need to do more. You just need to do more damage. You get, need to get more kills, more experience to get as... Uh, uh, much excitement as uh, you were able to get uh, when you started off after getting couple kills, right? And uh, this battle, by the way, over here was my best uh, battle in uh, the free marking session, which I was able to get my new damage record as well. By the way, we have a blind kill on the uh, Wolverine. Let's not forget that. And artillery. Oh, this guy has been a huge uh, pain in the existence. And luckily, I was able to high roll with my 280 alpha damage. Did you want shot that artillery? Feels good, let me tell you that. And we crossed 5,000 damage and also 1,900 assistance is what we have over here. Uh, six uh, frags as well. So everything is beaten. I believe this battle did beat like my damage assisted record, my damage done, and also my uh, uh, frags, as you can see. Top gun, yes, finally top gun as well. But we had many more top guns actually. And uh, this was, uh, you know, matchmaking perfect, like I was top tier. By the way, I played exactly 60 battles, exactly 60 battles in uh, the uh, marking session, and I was top tier in 10 battles. So this was one of the rare top tier battles. Most of the battles, I have to say, were actually versus tier 8s. By the way, you don't see the outline because of the replay box over here right uh the replay bug is you know still a thing i guess you know they it's just not uh, as important thing to fix for a war gaming as we would expect uh, but uh, yeah this was um the record battle 5686 damage done top gun steel wall a scout patrol 2t high caliber ace tanker 2160 base xp as well that is a not the amount of base xp actually i have to tell you and uh, we made 114000 credits profit even uh, with uh, all that so what was that uh, fully combined it was like 7700 combined yeah 7700 combined in a uh, tier 7 tank in tier 7 matchmaking is not half bad but now going into the final battle which i had in this session and this was you know more common matchmaking uh, while i was playing with this actually that's pretty easy matchmaking as well if i'm looking at it because we have a lot of tier 6s over here so very beautiful matchmaking so i can show you but as i said out of uh, 60 battles in the session i was like top tier 10 times the most common matchmaking was uh, tier 7s and tier 8s only you know half the team tier 8s half the team uh, tier 7s uh, there were many tier 9s 
9 battles. There was actually quite a 6 streak of tier 9 battles, I think 4 times out of 5 or something like that happened as well um, in the session. And in the tier 9 battles, I just treat this tank as a support, uh, kind of a sniper, uh, because everything is able to penetrate you. You know, Tiger 1 is like a huge, uh, fat box, you know? It's... Uh, whenever I see, like, I'm, I'm always thinking about my own perspective as well, when I see a tank and what I think about the vehicle when I see it. And when I see Tiger 1, it's like almost out of pen. You know, if you're playing with, uh, let's say, tier 8 or, or, or tier 9, it's like, it's like XP Piñata. It gives you the uh, Dog 2 feeling. Easy penetration coming up because the turret is not the strongest. Even though the turret can bounce some, uh, some things every now and then, uh, the turret can be a bit trolly with the, uh, you know, gun mantlet, uh, space armor blocking some shots over there. But the hull is just almost out of pen, unless you are very unlucky hitting the uh, angled edges. I took one chance over here versus T-54. I was paying attention that this guy was actually looking at someone else, and I tried to get one shot in, and of course artillery punishes me as well. So, um, my plan did not work out, basically. Didn't get the shot into the 54 mode 1, and I received one in, uh, back from the guy. So basically the plan was a disaster, or the execution was a disaster. Uh, there is uh, D71DA, which I was actually um, able to keep spotted over here, and I'm going to get a little bit of assistance as well after hitting that guy for 257 damage. I just try to get every piece of damage or assistance possible on mines, because mines battles can be very, very fast. And I remember coming into this game actually after uh, four or five battles being against only tier 8s and tier 9s again. There was back-to-back, -back, couple back-to-back -back tier 9 battles uh, just before this one, which we lost super fast as well, and uh, after playing the session for over 10 hours, I honestly wanted to be done with this already, and there is a SU-130 BM punishing me as well from the 3 line, uh, or actually not uh, from the 3 line, from the 4 line. He's not behind the most common bushes, he's uh, behind the big rock on the 4 line the issue uh, but uh, just in case something is uh, behind those uh, uh, bushes over there let's take a couple blind shots because you know after playing the session for over 10 hours and coming from uh, tier 9 battles which we lost i just wanted to be done with it honestly and um, you know trying my hardest right over here to squeeze out damage and of course this can lead into some uh, bad decisions issue luckily is over peaking as you can see and issue is getting banged shot after shot after shot there is issue and i messed up my intuition over here i was almost done loading in the high explosive clip once again but i messed it up and went for the full reload on the ap round and one shot goes in blind shot goes in as well beautiful okay we are almost done. We need, I think, like uh, uh, three more shots of damage. And this fire helps very nicely. That fire alone is almost like two shots of damage. And another one. And I think after this shot... Or maybe we needed one more. And the mark of excellence uh, was done. So, you know, still trying to stay alive over here. That Jackson... We have to be careful about that Jackson. Because Jackson actually good high rollers. I have 200... What was that? 295 hit points left. Uh, one shot into Tiger P. And seems like my blind shots were hits. So already we should have three blind shots. One into SU and uh, two into Tiger. And uh, there is uh, Jackson still alive as well. So Jackson, Jackson and Jackson. I was still spotted once again. Impatient me over here. But... Uh, he high rolled, Jackson did high roll with the 240 alpha damage gun, but luckily not enough to take me out. 26 hit points left, waiting for the Jackson. No, this guy is staying behind the trees, not coming out. Uh, do we have anything else over here? Maybe artillery is going to be spotted soon. Jackson over there, nope. Jackson behind the rock, Panther 2, please speak, please speak. This is what I'm thinking actually. And artillery fires and those will spot the artillery and let's make sure. I am going to connect it and BOOM! This should seal the deal. Tiger has been 3 marked, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, with uh, all the blind shots, and I actually was able to get the Jackson as well, by the way. I forgot about that. I was actually able to get the uh, blind shot as well and the Tiger one in the bushes. Tiger in the bushes. 
where it belongs, right? We got high caliber actually in this game, so not bad. 3,700 damage done, 500 assistance as well in a uh, tier 8 game with all the blind shots. You know, all the blind shots uh, do add up, guys. Uh, you miss every single shot you do not take anyway. Uh, 3 kills, 1,277 base XB, 21 shots fired, 15 hits, uh, 14 penetrations. Quite standard ratio over here on Tiger 1. But yeah, that was my journey with uh, one of the most iconic tanks in uh, this game, if not the most iconic tank in World of Tanks, tank which everybody knows, right, uh, from the history or through the history. And uh, we are back. We are back in action. And I actually want to keep playing with it. Believe me or not, but I actually do want to keep playing with this tank. Quite, quite crazy. Welcome back, Tiger One. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's video. A little bit different one for you, maybe. I see you next time with something else. Stay awesome, stay beautiful, take care, and bye.